My parents kicked me out because I'm gay. Now I won the lottery and they want me back. I am a gay male and I live with my partner Jake. When I was 17 years old, my parents kicked me out because they found out about my sexuality. I have always known that I'm gay ever since I was a young boy. I didn't come out to my family because they did not support it. My parents prided themselves on being conservative. I wanted to wait until I was out of their house and able to provide for myself before I told them. My twin sister has always been selfish and narcissistic. Ever since we were young, she always did anything possible to make herself seem better to our parents. She used to lie about me doing things I didn't just to get in their good books. I always got better grades than her and she was always jealous because she was not very clever. She had to repeat a year because of that. My parents never focused on me and my achievements, only on her. Because of that, she's always been the favorite in the family. She took any chance that she had to embarrass me. My family didn't know that I had a boyfriend. When I dated, I kept the relationships secret. One day, I forgot to lock the door while I was on a video call with my boyfriend. She walked in and heard everything before I could notice her behind me. I begged for her not to tell her parents about it. She said that she wouldn't as long as I would owe her. I stupidly believed her because she was very manipulative. I was desperate to keep my secret. If my parents found out, they would kill me. I relaxed and thought she wouldn't tell them in exchange for a favor. However, to my surprise, she went against her word only a few days later. She made a post a few days later on social media to shame me. In the post, she told everyone that I was gay. She and her friends made mean comments about me, but a few people called her out on how she outed me. I got messages from a lot of unsupportive people making fun of me. Everyone knew I was gay because of her. At school, it was difficult because not everyone accepted me. I was called hateful names by the students. My parents didn't find out until a few days later. I couldn't sleep, waiting for someone to tell them. A couple days later, my parents found out about me and how I had a boyfriend. I confronted her about it, and she said that she didn't care if anything happened to me. I was a disgrace to the family for being who I was. Her words hurt me. One day, when I got home from school, they told me that they wanted to talk. They asked me if what my sister had posted was true, and I confirmed it. Trying to hide it was no use because they believed everything that she told them. They told me that I had to leave because they didn't want a gay child. My sister just sat there and watched the drama, smiling. I asked her why she had betrayed me. I should have known that she would take any opportunity she had to throw me under the bus. I begged them and told them I had nowhere to go, especially at night. But they didn't listen to my pleas. They threw me out at that very moment, not caring if anything happened to me. Because I had nowhere to go, I called my boyfriend to tell him what had happened to me, and he came to pick me up. I went to stay with my boyfriend, who was a year older than me. After what they did to me, I didn't want to have any contact with them. I hated all of them for how they had failed to support me. Throwing me out of the house was too much. I finished high school with great difficulty and went to college on a student loan. I haven't seen my family for many years. My boyfriend was very supportive of me as I worked hard. Things weren't that great for us financially since we were both studying and working part time. I rarely played the lottery. But I had some spare change one day, and I thought I'd do it for fun. I picked numbers that meant a lot to me and my partner. At night, my boyfriend and I watched the lottery show. We both had long days, and were watching it while helping each other cook, since there was no wall between our living room and our kitchen. Then, they announced the numbers. The first number was the same as mine, so I quickly grabbed my ticket when I heard it. They called several more of the numbers, and I couldn't believe it. I had won the lottery. We jumped up and down, screaming when we had realized what had just happened. I got enough numbers to qualify for a prize between two to three million dollars. Never in my life had I ever gotten so much money. With that money, I could solve all my problems. Suddenly, my life changed. Once it cashed out, I spent a chunk on paying 80% of my college debt. It had been the one thing that had been stressing me out for a very long time. I spent some money on a big house and a gorgeous car. I saved the rest of the money so that I could use it on other expenses that would arise. My boyfriend and I were literally living in luxury. I posted my house and my car on social media, and many people congratulated me. Suddenly, people who had shamed me in high school wanted to become my friends. Funny, right? I did not entertain them because I knew that they just wanted to use me. One day, I saw that my sister had liked one of my posts on Instagram. I found that strange since she had not spoken to me in so many years. I didn't think too much of it and soon forgot about it. Then one day, I got a call from an unknown number. I answered it out of curiosity. It was my mother. After so many years, I spoke politely to her and asked her about her health. 
She told me that they were all fine, and that they missed me. I nearly laughed when she said that, because they had been the ones who kicked me out. I hadn't run away from home. Now she had the nerve to call me. I asked her why she was calling me, and she told me that she wanted to ask me if I'd like to come to dinner with the family. I held nothing against them anymore, but I wanted nothing to do with them. I told them that I could not come for dinner. She dropped the call, and I thought that was the end of it. But they did not stop calling me and asking how I was. They were a lot more caring than they had been before. I asked my boyfriend for advice on whether I should go for dinner at the house. He told me that life was short and maybe they had really changed. That got me thinking. I could just go and catch up with them. He also warned me to be careful of them. They could have been after my money. So I got back to them and I told them that I would come for dinner, but I would come with my boyfriend. To my surprise, they seemed very happy about it and told me that they were very happy to meet him. So then we went to the house for dinner. When they saw me pulling up in my car, they were shocked. They hugged me when they saw me and acted very excited. My sister was the one who surprised me a lot. She went on and on about how she missed having me around and how things weren't the same without me. She was the one who had rejoiced when I was kicked out. I was nice to them and I wanted to catch up with them since they were my family. They pulled out all the stops. They had cooked all of my favorite food, something that they had never done in the past. During dinner, they were very interested in finding out what I was doing with my life. So I told them that I had gone to college and had a job. My sister asked why I was working when I had money, but I told her that it didn't grow on trees. They told me that my sister had seen that I had won the lottery on social media, which explained why she was liking my posts. And that was when I got the first red flag. They were very nice to my boyfriend as well. They were laying it on really thick and I saw right through them. After dessert, my father asked if he could talk to me in his study. I was curious what he wanted to say, so then I went with him. When we were there, he told me that he was proud of me for making it so far in life. Imagine, the same man who had never praised me in his life was telling me that he was proud of me? I thanked him and asked him what he needed to ask me. He told me that things were a bit difficult for them and he needed to ask me for a loan. He needed to pay for my sister's college fund and they didn't have that much money. I had the money, but I wasn't jumping to help them out. My sister had been nothing but mean to me from the very beginning and my parents had always took her side but we had been teenagers. Maybe she was different now as an adult. I was about to answer when he told me I could take my time to think about it. We went back to the living room where everyone else was. My father whispered something to my mother and my sister. Then suddenly, my sister started asking me how much my house cost. I asked her why she was asking such a thing, and my mother, since I could afford a big house, I must have the money to pay for my sister's college. Then my dad said that I had to give them money to buy another house. I told him that I did not have the money to pay them, and besides, I would help out with my sister's college and they would just pay me back. Then my dad asked why I would let my own parents pay me back when I could just give them the money. It clicked right then that the dinner was just a way to trick me out of money. I believed that they had really changed and now they had proven their true colors. So I went ahead and told them that they wouldn't even get a cent of my money. That got them very upset and I saw the people who had kicked me out years ago. They stopped being nice and they shouted at me. I had to share my money with them because they are my family. They told me how ungrateful I was. They said that gay people were nice, but I was being rude to them. I told them that the money was mine and they didn't help me with anything, not even my college fees. I had to work many odd jobs at the same time and take out a college loan just so that I could survive. My boyfriend told them to leave me alone, but they continued to attack me. I told them that I wanted nothing to do with them as long as they were still selfish. So then, Jake and I left the house and went back to our place. Two weeks later, they were still sending me messages, asking me for money. They tried everything they could to ask me for money, from fake emergencies to bad-mouthing me on social media, but I didn't budge. Each and every time, I refused to give them my money. After what they had done to me, they didn't deserve a cent. They invited me for dinner so that they could apologize, but I didn't accept it because I knew they were lying to me. One night, I was sleeping after a long day when I heard a knock on my door. I got up to see who it was. It was in the middle of the night, at a time when no one was walking around. My boyfriend asked me to be careful if I was going to open the door, because it could be anyone. I opened the door and I found my sister there. I knew at that very moment that she had come here to ask me for money. I asked her why she had come to trouble me at this time of the night. She answered in a shaky voice and asked me if she could come in because it was raining outside. 
The tone of her voice alarmed me because she didn't usually sound like that. She stepped into the house and I saw that she had been crying and she had a small bag with her. I asked her what was going on, but she just started to cry. I called my partner and he came to the door. I told her to go and take a shower and wear something warm. Then we would talk to her. While she was gone, Jack and I discussed why we thought she was here. We both agreed that we would let her sleep here until the morning. Then she would go back home, or we would drive her back at that very moment if she started causing any trouble. I was getting very tired and annoyed with my family for the way that they wanted my money. When I had nothing, they kicked me out like I was trash. But now that I had money, they want to be a part of my life? When she freshened up, we sat together in the living room and she started to explain everything. I told her that I was going to call our parents and tell them that she was here, but she stopped me. She started apologizing for how she had treated me a long time ago. She had been trying to hide her own secret and that was why she decided to expose me. She didn't mean to get me kicked out, according to her. She also told me that when she found out that I had money, she told our parents. They made a plan to be nice to me so that I'd give them money. That night, they had found her in her room with someone that they weren't supposed to see. I asked her if she was there because she'd been caught with a boyfriend. She said that she hadn't been caught with a boyfriend. Our parents had kicked her out because they found her with a girl in her room. Her secret was that she was a lesbian and had been hiding for all her life. Our parents had lied when they pretended to accept me. They had been homophobic from the very beginning and now they had kicked her out because she was lesbian. She had begged them, but they had told her that she wasn't going to return to their house again. I was shocked at what she was telling me. They convinced me of a lot of things. They had me many times. I don't know if I can trust what she said. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to become a part of our Rainbow Force and stay wholesome.